Jared Poland, Fronos, Photo. Dot com and I'm getting ready to go to Utah. Hold on, let me turn off the sound. Getting ready to go to Utah for a photo shoot uh, on, when is it? Friday and Saturday, so I'm flying out. I'll be there for the weekend, and I wanted some new toys to go away with, some something different. Uh, so I got a couple of packages in the mail today, which is good, and this is the first one I wanna unbox and sniff and all of that good stuff. So here it is. I needed a pair of headphones. So here's a pair of Ultimate Ears. These are the Ultimate Ears 700 series. The reason, as I reach over here, that I wanted a pair of these, or in-ear headphones, as you remember I tweeted about, is because I didn't want to take these on the road with me anymore. I love my Sennheisers. These were, these were the Sennheiser 5950, uh, sorry, HD 595s. I love them, they sound amazing, but they're too big to take on the road. So I put out that tweet to see what was out there and what you guys think I should get. And you know, I've heard of Ultimate Ears for a long time and I wanted to try them out. So I got myself a pair of these Ultimate Ears 700s. I think they run about 150 bucks or so, which isn't bad. I'm willing to spend a little more uh, to get their molded version now that I see how small these are because I would love to have the molded in-ears because really you buy it once and you buy a good set and you'll never, you know, it's like buying a good lens and that's why I, d I wouldn't have a problem spending like $300 for a pair of headphones if they were that good and, and gonna last me for a long time. So let's see, I mean these, I've never owned a pair of in-ears other than the ones that have come with like the iPhone but that's no good. So what do I want this for? Well, I want it for traveling. I want it for the airplane. I want it to, um, oh, wow. Vintage shoebox smell. It's like those LA looks, pumps, back from when I was a kid. Oh, that's beside, oh, wow. Ooh, these Ultimate Ears smell great. Wow, it comes in its own box. It comes with a box. And inside the box that says Ultimate Ears on it are some more silicon rubbery things to fit uh, for your ears. So I'll see which one fits me. But really, these things are some miniature looking in-ears, really small. So I'm gonna move on to the next item, but I'll have a full review of these after the trip to Utah. I mean, I'll be using them on the plane and I cannot wait to use it with the iPad. The second thing, which you probably can't see yet, came in this other box from a, another place. Here it is. It is an Urban Disguise version 2 from Think Tank. I asked some people what bags they thought would be good for iPad and laptop, and this, this was the one they recommended. Because it fits a 13-inch MacBook Pro in the back, right here. Actually have one right here. 13-inch MacBook Pro. Boom. Right in the back, perfect. Nothing any bigger than that, obviously, now is gonna fit in there. And then for the inside, I think if I take out the raincoat or something, I should be able to put the iPad right here. Ew! That is like the coolest setup ever. And I still have room to put the D7000 in here. And then there's even this, oh, this is awesome. I cannot wait to take this. This is just so much, it's smaller than the Urban Disguise 60. If I needed the 60, or if I needed a camera bag also that I wanted to travel with and it just needed one bag, that would be it. But for traveling on the plane, to throw these Ultimate Ears in there and have this Urban Disguise 35 version two, I mean, that thing has the iPad and the laptop. That's really what I want to take on the road. So I'll have full reviews of both of them when I get back from Utah, Jared Polin, froknowsphoto.com See ya!